Cliff Williams, Joel Jackson, this is not gospel, and we are talking about a lot of pop culture stuff in these uh, last couple of videos. We are talking about the new fantasy stuff coming up uh, in Amazon and on Hulu. <laughs> this is not gospel. I don't Dude. know if you've seen all of the like fantasy shows coming out, like Wheel of Time and whatever. Wheel of Time looks awesome. Well, hold on. Every oh. single scene is like, there's your Asian, there's your white guy, there's your African American. There, it feels, every scene feels woke. It's just that's not mm. how the worlds were back then. Like you well, don't. Ha- Wheel of Time, yes. Wheel of Time could have been. But it's it's Europe. It's in. It's based on that whole European like. Not Wheel of Time though. Yeah, but it's castles and swords and wizards and whatever, and like everyone's it, in their own. Let thing. me let me tell you why. I've I've read now. A buddy of mine has read all fourteen books of Wheel yeah. of Time multiple times. I but, and we need to do. We yeah. we need to. I did see a trailer. For we Wheel need of to time. cover. Let me tell you why the fact that there's all these it's multi ethnicity and all this why that didn't phase me a bit and why I actually enjoy it. Wheel of Time is not set in this historical type world like any of these shows again i don't care you put whoever you want people interbreed over years and then you have one if white people if you have an asian african i'm just saying like it it doesn't it kind of you know what i'm saying like i I do know what you're saying but wheel of time plays like this this has happened over and over and over and over i just feel like the way the world works, and this is not me being against diversity yeah. by any means. Mm-hmm. If you get a bunch of white people together and African American people and Chinese and Indian and whatever, they are going to start to enter. And eventually you're saying you have one You're going to have race. one thing. And so whenever I see like an Americanized, like, dude, we're going to start seeing that in America. You're saying like, it could be, next- and you're saying it could be anything. It could be, it could have. Your all of your people are going to have one base look. It's going to have one base look at some <coughs> point, and that's why it throws me out. Mm. Now, Star Trek is different. That's a, like that's a giant, giant. Well, Game of Thrones world. is different too. It was a big whole world. It was the entire. It was yeah, all well, the they areas. go to different cultures. Yeah. In- the thing about Wheel of Time is, is they do that as well. Different areas in Wheel of Time have different different demographics of people. Yeah. Because they're looking for the one, the dragon, the one who can wield the one power without going insane. So they go all over the world supposedly tracking, oh, this person says they can wield the one power. Perhaps they're the the one, the dragon or whatever. So they they do pull people of various walks of life, of various ethnicities from all over. So the Wheel of Time thing, it didn't even bother me one bit. And here's the deal. I'm usually like what you're saying. Like if it's intentional – I don't care who you want to play a role. I think the I think it should be a meritocracy. The best actor yeah. should get the part. That's what I think. It frustrated me when uh, when the new live action Little Mermaid, they in the hiring Disney said we are looking for a multiracial lead for for Little Mermaid. I'm like, well, that's racist. It's like you're looking for the best actor for the part. If it happens to be, yeah. if it happens to be an Asian person who can sing the, the phone book and it just melts your heart, put them in there. If it happens to be a black person, white person, whatever, put them in there. Yeah. But you're saying, no, no, no. We specifically want a multiracial yada yada for, for Little Mermaid, a character that isn't even historically any specific race at all. You know, she in the cartoon she was a mm. uh, uh, Caucasian, but so what? It's like I'm, yeah, I'm just like it's like I said. I, I think I'm concerned within talking about Lord of the Rings that in this world it's based on Europe and it's based in a lot of reality. You're gonna have every different race at the council table, and there's gonna be like <coughs> the women are gonna be. <coughs> The women are going to be telling the men, like, you do this and you do that. And, like, I know I'm not even excited. Like, I'm not, I'm already set up for the letdown. I'm already not considering this canon. That's what I think I really, really like about uh, Wheel of Time. Wheel of Time, the, the women are, there's a lot of strong female characters in the See, Wheel I of Time series. that in the trailer. But it's, it's, it makes sense because in the Wheel of Time's lore... The only only women can wield the one power without going insane. 
And so any man who wields the one power, they usually try to find them and stifle their ability to wield it to save their life. That sounds like our current culture. However, however, <laughs> the dragon, yeah. the one who can wield the one power without going insane, is the one who's supposed to save the world from the dark one. So it's like this, it's this catch-22, right? Like, <clears throat> you got to find these guys who are going to go insane and cause a lot of harm. You got to find them and stop them from wielding, from wielding the one power, right? But at the same time, you're also hoping to find the one guy who can save the world. My biggest qualm with like the modern world is I think we're so desensitized and I think films now that's why when I see something and it's like plot 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 gotta get the bad guy I'm like I just don't care because there seems like <coughs> that's I, why I don't watch a lot I will of say dude I will say Hulu has a big time incentive to make the fans of that series what series of the Wheel of Time series Amazon Wheel of Time's Amazon Amazon I just watched I the thought, trailer yesterday. So it's Amazon. It is Amazon. Okay. So Amazon has yes. Amazon has a serious incentive to please the fans of the Wheel of Time series. The reason they do is because, bro, yeah. that series is 14 books long. Not only is it 14 books long, we're talking 14 books, four to 800 to 1100 type pages long. That's a lot of content. You have over a decade of potential money-making story if you please the fans. Okay, so here's my issue with the Wheel of Time trailer. Okay. The director of the Lord of the Rings, when they were making Lord of the Rings, so I basically learned filmmaking from that. He talked about when we met up and we said, we want to make Lord of the Rings. We want to make it look Hollywood fantasy they do their thing and it just looks like garbage okay and it doesn't look realistic it just looks like hollywood fantasy he said we want to make this look like an actual real thing dude i got the only thing i got from that trailer was hollywood fantasy it, like what i got from the hobbit the costumes are not dirty everybody's hair is perfect everybody's makeup is perfect it doesn't feel like a lived-in world and that was my biggest qualm. well again so it fits in the world i if know it, it, that I know. Fit, particularly they're focusing on the one girl and the one girl in the blue dress with the little jewel around her around her neck uh dark hair she's one of the and i forget what they call them it's been a while since i read that series and, and engaged in it yeah. but um she almost always looks perfect and she almost always looks ageless yeah. You can't tell how old she is. And that's part of their, I don't want to say coven, but their guild and the women who use that power, they all have different colors. Yeah. And she's a blue of those colors. And uh, she, they all have different things. And all of them, not, you can't tell how, how old they are. They always look almost perfect because they're using the one power. But that's like the force. Like the fo what happened? Yeah. How did you do it? The force. Yeah. Well, how did the Jedi win? Well, the Force. <clears throat> did you have you read any of the series? I started the first book. And I read like two chapters. It was fine, but I I just all I'm talking about is stylistic. Right. I just okay. So I, well, let me encourage you with this as a person, and I haven't read them all. Uh, like I said, I think I'm in book six, and it's 14 books long. And, and interestingly enough, uh, Robert Jordan didn't finish it. Robert Jordan died before the series could be finished. So towards the end, he started parting, partnering with Brandon Sanderson, I think is his name. And so Brandon Sanderson wrote the 13th book or the 12th book with uh, Robert Jordan, and it shows their both names on there. And then the last two books were all Brandon Sanderson. Like essentially Robert Jordan outlined it out for him. This is where the plot goes and this is how it ends. And he wrote it. So... He never even lived long enough to see his entire series finished. It's a very interesting thing. It's just, it's so much to consume. 14. It's a lot, dude. I just, it seems impossible much. to, to it just seems too much. It seems impossible for a story to be engaging and compelling that long, but it is. But for certain people, like you can consume Lord of the Rings because it's three books. Dude. The, the thing is, he starts from a point that is so... You start following this main character, Rand. I believe his name is Rand. Because, again, it's been a while. 
<clears throat> he's the one that they presume is the dragon, like we talked about, the one who could save yeah. the world. But you're following his dive into the one power. And the reason why it drives men insane is because they're the only ones who can wield. It's just interesting. This is like force. This is like Star Wars stuff, but it came out in that same time. Um, they're the only ones who can wield both sides of the one power, yeah. the light side and the dark side. And so his, his deep dive into what is going on. There's times where as he gets his power begins to develop more and more and more that he begins to question whether or not he himself is going insane. He's like, maybe they got it wrong. Maybe I'm not the dragon and I'm literally going insane. You know, and the one power is driving me insane. Should I tell them about this so they can stop me, so they can cut off my power? Like this, there's this length yeah. of time that, and this this development of characters that is so, it's so impressive that kind of like what you were saying, you get involved with the characters and that's why you stick around. Can I talk about my biggest issue with, what was that Netflix show with the Superman guy? It was. It was. Oh, uh, The Witcher. All right, let me talk about The Witcher and Henry the Mandalorian, Campbell. and which one is garbage and which one got right. Here's The Witcher. This dude that's by himself doesn't care about anybody. Okay. Here you have the same exact thing with The Mandalorian, and then he starts to care about this little baby. There's emotional connection. One of these is get the sword out there. Here, get the make sure the women bring the women in the show, and then this one is like relationship. Yeah, you can get everything a pro. You can get diversity. You can get everything you need to. You can address sexism, racism, anything, if you introduce us to like relationships that mean something. Yeah. And my problem with Hollywood is I feel like <laughs> all of these writers are so career driven. They don't know how to write real relationships. They don't know how to write relationships because they don't have any. They just do their career stuff. Everybody's selfish out there. Yeah, dude. In the new Lord of the Rings, I mean. God. I'm I'm not even dude I don't even care because I just that Star Wars thing was heartbreaking for me. Yeah. The sequel trilogy was so bad. Oh yeah. That like I'm just I'm I'm like and you get the the director of Jurassic Park 2 directed the first 3 episodes. Like the the Jurassic World 2. Yeah. That movie was horrible. And it's almost like they talk about Hollywood. There's this concept of failing up. Yeah. I don't understand that. Like, if you do a bad job, oh, oh, yeah, Mikey. Well, try this. Try that. Try this now. Yeah. So get the, get Mikey, this big, big. Uh, Mikey thing. go. Mikey goes to a guy. Man, Joel was a prick to work with. You should work with him. You should definitely work with him. <laughs> What? If you like this clip from Not Gospel, uh, please check out the weekly podcast. You can check us out on Patreon. Uh, tell us what you want to hear. Tell us what you want us to uh, to cover. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and as always, keep being awesome because that's how he made you.